Hey guys, before we actually get into this video, I want to mention that I'm actually affiliated with Cinch Gaming. So if you want to get yourself a Cinch Gaming controller, go to cinchgaming.com and use code BRITIC for 5% off. You guys can also find that on my YouTube banner and in the description of all my videos. Thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Bye. Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Bernie coming at you fast with an unboxing video and today we're actually going to be unboxing a Cinch gaming controller, that is right. Uh, now some of you have asked me why the hell am I always in different places, did I move, whatever. I'm actually at my parents house right now because I just moved back to my apartment for college which is what you probably would have seen in uh, if you've seen me on webcam in the past week. Uh, but right now I'm back at my parents house and it's because it's my dad's birthday, so I'm celebrating it with him. But I did get my new Cinch controller in the mail, so I decided to unbox it and show it for you guys. Because I know some of you guys know what scuff controllers are, but probably not too many of you have ever seen or used the Cinch controller. You guys probably have heard of them. You're like, oh, Cinch gaming sucks because scuff is better. But in all honesty, I haven't had too great of an experience with my scuff controller, so I decided to try out a Cinch gaming controller this time around. So let's get right into it. Uh, excuse my astros right there. So basically, so they send you a box like this. I already unboxed it from the, the UPS box or whatever. And, you know, you've got your Cinch Gaming controller right there. Custom controller for eSports. And on the side, you have little drawings. Here's the PS4, PS3. On this side, you have Xbox One and Xbox 360. And then you have on the back, they kind of show you, okay, that there, were, there are the trigger stops, the tournament buttons, and all that kind of stuff. So it's a cool little box. I also ordered a wire for it because I like playing with wired controllers. It reduces the delay when you press something. So I like that. So I ordered that on top of it. And uh, yeah, let me get this open real quick, and I'm going to show you guys what's inside. Alright, so it was actually more of a bitch to open than I thought. Basically the way to open these is you just have to pull down on the, either this side or the other side and you just gotta pull hard enough until it opens up like this, like right here where it did. So, let's open this up, pull this out, there we go, cool, cool, cool. So, let's see if there's anything in there, nope, there's not, cool. Congratulations, you are now the owner of a custom cinch gaming controller. You have joined an elite group of gamers who require the very best equipment. Synth controllers are the preferred choice among both professional and casual gamers alike. Draw the most ergonomic design available with a unique button placement that gives the best, most controlled gaming experience possible. 100% approved for tournament and competition play. It'll be a cinch to bury the competition. Thank you for joining the cinch gaming family. Boom! Check that out. I ordered myself a red PS4 cinch controller and I took out the rumble pack. So this thing is lighter. This thing is definitely lighter than usual. And it's red, which is cool because you have to like custom order a red one from Japan, I think it is. You don't really see reds too often. And yeah, so on the back here, so let me show you guys. So on the back here, what they have is they, oh, let's see if we can render on there. There you go. That's a button right there. And then right here where my thumb is, there's another button. So they have buttons instead of paddles. And these buttons, like I'm holding a controller right here. This button is literally just chilling right there. Or my fingers chilling. It's great. I don't even have to move anything. I just have to squeeze and I can press the controller. This is really, really comfortable. Really, really lightweight. Like, really lightweight. I don't know how much lighter it is than a regular PS4 because I don't have my actual PS4 controller with me at the moment, but it's cool. I really like it. I like the finish that they did. It's a bit glossy where the buttons are. It's not matte. It's glossy, but the red, I chose to have red matte colors. And of course, you have the default you know, you have the default PlayStation sticks and stuff. You can choose which kind of sticks you want, whether you want Xbox sticks on there. You can choose if you want hair triggers. I just decided to keep it normal. So the only thing that I changed with this is that I took out the Rumble Pack, which I'm pretty sure is free. I made the color red, and of course you have the buttons here. You could also add trigger stops and all that kind of fancy stuff. And I have the, that in, uh, the cable for the, you know, the so the delay is less. And it actually even has the little Cinch Gaming logo right there underneath the Sony, which is pretty... Pretty cool, it has it right on the light bar. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. The reason I decided to go with Cinch this time, like I said, because with my scuff, it was kind of, the scuff kind of, um, it didn't break, but it started functioning not as good. Like the, the A button on my Xbox, it was pretty gnarly in that sense. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm liking this. Hopefully it'll, in, it'll be good. I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know what it is later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.